Hi guys, I'm Archie Luxury and today I'm doing an advertisement for one of my great fans here. I want to promote KK Design, which is a San Diego based interior designer who specializes in full service residential and boutique style commercial spaces from start to finish. New sofa, new kitchen, new house, or you just need some ideas or a second set of eyes, no problem. Work can be done via Skype, FaceTime, email, text, phone calls, or in person, depending on the size of the project. Restrooms and Rolex, Lange's and living rooms, Pateks and pantries. She does it all. Is your house ready for your new timepiece? Follow her on Instagram at K-A-T-E-K -E underscore I-N-S-P-O. That's on Instagram at Kate K underscore I-N-S-P-O. Reach her and check out her work at www.KateK.Design. Kate K all the way. Kate K all the way. Kate K all the way. Thank you very much. Please check her brilliant design out. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. Today guys, I've got a really interesting, nasty concept I want to tell you and that's about fulfillment. Stop building crazy, crazy collections. Stop building crazy, crazy collections. And I gotta tell you, I'm 47 years old and I've gone for quality over quantity and I gotta be totally honest with you man I gotta be honest with you in my case here I I, I built up a big collection 13 14 pieces and you know I've only got two arms one you can only wear one watch at a time you look like a dick with two on uh, I gotta tell you man for me it's the quality 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 has been a very important thing and I've enjoyed I've enjoyed Patek Philippe I've really enjoyed it and I gotta tell you man as you get older less is more less is more less is more I seriously can't stress that enough to you. Less is more. Less is more. And I'm starting to be fulfilled in having less watches than more watches. I don't need to have every fucking genre of watch. I don't need a diver, a GMT, a chronograph. I don't need every fucking genre known to man. I don't need every fucking genre. In fact, you know, I've gone into the paddocks, I got a world time, so that kind of trumps any GMT function watch. I've got a calendar, an annual calendar, well that, that's a fantastic function. See, that, that doesn't even, calendar type of thing doesn't really exist in the Rolex scene. Okay, I know you've got the Sky Dweller, it's an annual calendar, but it's not the same genre. Like, I normally say to people, get a diver, a GMT, a chronograph, and a dress watch, you know, it's just your genres in paddock it's different and, and I gotta say man I'm sort of slowing down now I'm saying to myself what do I really want I'm content five paddocks and a reverso five paddocks and a reverso and I probably got one too many I got one in spare one or two in spare and that's what it it comes down to that's what it comes down to I mean I love my paddock Pat Tex, I love them. They're just cool wristwatches. I can try a different one, wear a different one. You know, I love my Patek Philippe's. I love the Philippe's. I love the Philippe's. Uh, I can wear them, try them on, and you know, everything is cool with Patek Philippe. But you know, seriously, how many fucking watches do you need? I gotta be honest with you. As I'm getting older, I'm enjoy reading articles about people who have joy at a less. Joy at a less, that's exactly it. And who says that? Who says less is more? I'll tell you who says it. Hodinky. Hodinky. Yes, he had a very, 
uh, interesting thing. He said two pieces. No, he said if, if he only had two pieces, he'd have a Patek 3940, which is a fucking perpetual calendar, and a Lange datagraph. Now, i got to tell you, there's a lot to be said for that compact, perfect collection. And it's kind of true. It's kind of true. How many do you fucking need? How many do you need? Less is more. And as I'm going through life, I'm starting to realize maybe less is more. Less is more. So, you know, I used to have, when I was in the Rolex scene, you, you have this yearning to get more roller. You want to get more. You always, always want more. You know, never enough, never enough. But now I'm thinking, man, fuck it. I got no Rolexes and I don't have any desire. I have a desire. I'd like to have one. Yes, I would. But at the moment, I got more than enough paddocks. That's... I probably got too many paddocks, you know. Truth be told, I've probably got too many. I've probably got too many paddocks. Five paddocks. I think, you know, if you look at my paddock collection, I love. I suppose it kind of fits in. I got the world time. I got the annual calendar. So those two in themselves is a fucking collection in itself. And you could say, well, we'll throw in the five one nine six. That gives us. Three different movements, 240, 315, which the 315 is sort of like the 324 previous version, and a 215. That gives you three different movements, all in yellow gold. Beautiful. And then on top of that, you throw on a 5127, which I absolutely love, and then a 5296 for, for good measure. <clears throat> um, five Patek Philippe's. And I suppose that's... That's more than enough, and I, I kind of feel content. I don't need to add more. And I, I, I think the thing is, you know, I, I would really say sometimes in life there's a great joy in downsizing. When I say downsizing, I mean I don't just mean sell them off and donate the money to fucking stupid charities. No, 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 no. I mean sell it off and buy something better. You know. Uh, that's kind of an, a, ple a pleasing concept. I'd like to minimalize my life. I want to get rid of the junk, the junk in my life. I'd like to get rid of a few things. Uh, I've got some lady shoes I'll talk to you about later. I'd like to get rid of a few things, to streamline the collection a bit. You know, that'd be so cool. Patek Philippe. Uh, I, I, I kind of feel content. I don't need to add a Lange. I don't need to add... I need to add anything. I'd like to add it. Well, I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know what I want in life anymore. I'm just happy. I'm content. I'm very, very... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I've got my fill. i got my fill. And this is the thing, you know. Sometimes in life, we get so greedy. We want so fucking many. I mean, how, how many do you fucking need? And even now, you know, I get great pleasure. So all my watches, six of them, six... Six, six of them are on leather straps. Five paddocks on leather and a reverso on leather. And, you know, when I want to do something shitty, I just put the fucking Casio on. That's all I do. I put the Casio on. And you know what? It doesn't, the earth doesn't, the time doesn't stop. It just put my Casio on. And I gotta say, there's something good about, I don't need to have a fucking watch for every fucking thing I want to do in my life. I can just, I don't even wear half the stuff. I just like to hoard, possess. I like. I get a big thrill out of taking a photograph of it and then looking at the photograph. You know, shit like that. That's what I, what I really like. So, I, I think in many ways there, I kind of enjoy the collection I've got. I, I really do love them. I love the watches. I do. I love them. I love my watches. I love my watches. They 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 mean they mean a lot to me. I love them. I really do love them. I love wristwatches. And I love them. I really do. I love my watches. But I think I got more than enough. I got five. How many? Five paddocks. How many do you fucking need in life? So I'm starting to realize, you know, I can still love Rolex. I can still love Zenith. I don't need to fucking own one. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm, I'm seriously thinking of downsizing my life a bit. What I mean by that is getting rid of stuff I don't need, I don't need, and, uh, 
Yeah, I like, I'd like to get rid of stuff. I'd like, I, I get a big thrill out of stuff going to someone who I know likes it. That's what I, I, I do enjoy. I, I enjoy that quite a bit. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 think, I think, honestly, with wrist watches themselves there, uh, I, I would seriously, I would seriously... I I love I love my watches. I do. I do love I do love my watches. I love I love everything about collecting them, hoarding them, possessing them, you know, just owning them. But I don't need to have every fucking thing. I think, you know, multiple protects. Fuck. Just be happy. Be content. Worry about your health, Archie. Worry about your health. Don't worry about material pursuits. Do I need a Mercedes Benz? Not really. I'd like a Mercedes Benz. I'd love an SL. But I don't have to have an SL. And I kind of feel, you know, for watches, I kind of feel I got more than enough. I got, you know, it's like you've gone to a buffet, you've eaten the, the, the lobster, you've eaten the crab claw, you've eaten all the good shit. You think, Ugh. yeah, yeah, it was good. It was good. It was good. And that's kind of how I feel with my collection. I don't, I don't have a drastic desire. I have to add a Rolex soon. I think, fuck, man, I got more than enough paddocks. More than enough. More than enough. Just stop and enjoy. Stop and enjoy. And yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of where I'm at at the moment. I stop and enjoy. Love them. You know, that's 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 what I, I'd like to do. Just stop, enjoy. Savor them, savor and enjoy them, and and work. You know, just 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 really get a thrill out of them. I don't need to endlessly pursue more more pieces. So I'm actually content. I'm actually very content, content, content. Yes, call me a hippie communist if you will, but uh, yeah, less is more. Guys, tell me what you think. Do you ever have ideas of downsizing, getting quality over quantity? Reducing your stress in your collection, just having a few key pieces. How many do you fucking need? That's the question, guys. I'm Paul Pluto. This is the, the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pluto channel. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe. Tell who your friends. And uh, don't forget to put some nasty comments below. Until next time, ciao, fuckeroonies. David SW. David SW. David S. W. Who does Archie Luxury recommend is the greatest grey market dealer in America? There's only one choice. David S. W. That's right, guys. I've got to tell you the honest truth. I have, for a long time, been looking for the perfect answer. Who do I recommend people go to see? Who do I recommend that people can go and uh, buy watches? And I've got to be honest with you, the greatest, the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, Paddock Philippe, Audemars Piguet, is David SW. David SW. David SW. David SW.com. That's right, guys. I have been looking for a contact who I can very nicely refer to people too. I am not in the selling business. Customer service. I'm too old to sell watches. I'm too old. I like to recommend my viewers to a reliable source. In Australia, I've got some great sources. There's uh, Sydney Watch Exchange with Cove. Rani at Vintage Watch Co. Shani. Shani at European Watch Gallery. And in America, who is the best source for pre-owned Rolex, for all the hot models, there's only one person I would recommend, David SW. David SW, David SW. That is the premier source for pre-owned Rolex. i got to be completely frank and honest with you. Guys, if you are looking for a hot Rolex model, there is only one place you can go to. David SW, David SW, David SW. Let's be honest, guys. There's no point schmoozing, schmoozing, schmoozing the dealers, the ADs. They're just a waste of time. Unless you're going to buy 20 pieces, you are wasting your time. What you're better off to do is pay the market premium and go to a good 
good pre-owned dealer. Who do I recommend? David SW. David SW. David SW. That's correct, guys. I want to tell you this now. I 100% stand behind David SW. David SW, the greatest pre-owned dealer in the entire United States of America. That's right. The greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, for Patek Philippe, for Audemars Piguet, David SW. He even does things like FP Jean. David SW, David SW, David SW. That's right. If you want to buy a pre-owned Rolex, a Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, there's only one good source I would recommend. David SW, David SW, David SW. I'm Paul Pluter, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, and I'm proud to recommend David SW. See you later. Thank you for watching this channel. Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pluter channel. Today guys, I want to introduce, I want to introduce a new company. This is Fame City Property Solutions. That's correct. They're located in Northeast Ohio and Fame City Property Solutions replaces non-efficient lights with energy saving LED lighting. Now, I got to tell you, the guys at Fame City Fame City, they will install energy saving LED lights at office buildings, commercial warehouses, home improvement stores, grocery stores, schools, parking lots, and other residential homes. Customers of Fame City Property Solutions can save hundreds and even thousands of dollars on their electricity bills. Now, you can email these guys at Fame City Property Solutions at gmail.com. That's all one word there. Fame City Property Solutions at gmail.com. Fame City Property Solutions, specializing in LED installations. Come on, guys, help this business out. Fame City Property Solutions in Northeast Ohio. Come on, guys, get on board here now with efficient energy saving LED lighting. Fame City Property Solutions. <laughs>